warm welcome to State of Business Art TV's Prime Time News Bulletin. You're with me, Rukshi Pandit Ratna. Let's take a look at the headlines first. Vision 2025 will diversify export baskets, says Diane Vegapitya. Regional container line commences new feeder service. And today on Top Stories, Director of Policy and Strategic Planning at the Export Development Board, Diane Vegapitya, says that the export sector of the country has shown an increase during 2017, as the merchandise exports have grown by 10.3% during the first 10 months of the year. During an exclusive interview with our television, Director Vegapiti also noted that the government's Vision 2025, along with the National Export Strategy of the EDB, focuses mainly on the export sector with an objective to diversify the prevailing export basket of Sri Lanka. During January to October 2017, according to the customs provisional data, there is an increase in the export sector. The growth has been increased in the export sector. Uh, the merchandise exports have grown by 10.3% during January to October 2017. During the period January to October 2017, uh, there are three instances where the export exceeds 1 billion US dollars, in, uh, especially in March, June, September, there is an upward trend in the export sector. Overall, the export income Jan to October is 10.3 billion. That is only merchandise. The export of services sector, that is mainly ICT BPM sector, there is a growth up to uh, US dollars 900 million up to Jan to October. All of us knows the government economic vision to make Sri Lanka a rich country by 2025 and the government has given the highest recognition for the export sector and the EDB is also fo focused on this vision and with the Ministry of Development Strategies and International Trade, the EDB initiated to formulate a national export strategy for Sri Lanka with the objective of achieving US dollars 20 billion by 2020. As you correctly said, the objective is to diversify the product basket. The national export strategy is focusing on identified focus products. The focus sectors are ICT, BPM, wellness tourism, spice concentrates, boat building, processed food and beverages, electrical, electronics, and machinery, but we are not neglecting other sectors. The mature sectors like tea, rubber, coconut, apparel will be benefited through the trade support functions, which are trade information and promotion, national quality infrastructure, innovation and R&D, and logistics. So, uh, the study reveals not actually it's not a study. The national export strategy focuses on diversification of products and this was not done by the EDB. This is owned by the private sector stakeholders. Their private sector has to drive the national export strategy. Through an inclusive and consultative process, Sri Lanka public and private sector stakeholders defined vision of the NES that is Sri Lanka an export hub driven by innovation and investment. So, based on this vision, several products focus sectors were identified under the national export strategy. This was done by uh, under the guidance of the Ministry of Development Strategies and International Trade. A navigator was appointed that is our state minister and there was a co-team appointed consisting of public and private sector and for uh, with the co-team after so many consultations uh, and there were about 500 uh, stakeholder consultations people participated that is public plus private uh, we derived these selected these six focus sectors so in the national expo strategy there are our strategies to achieve the export target and to overcome the problems faced by these sectors. 
Speaking for the Policy and Strategic Planning Director of the Export Development Board, Dayani Vegapitiya briefed the 2018 Action Plan of the ADB, which consists of multiple initiatives to identify local entrepreneurs and to develop them as global suppliers. The 2018 Action Plan of the ADB has been focused on policy initiatives that is to implementation of the National Export Strategy. Even though we formulate the National Export Strategy, we have to implement the strategy to have a result. So we are one of the main action is to implementation of the National Export Strategy and uh, creating the next generation of local entrepreneurs that was uh, mentioned in the budget, National Budget 2018. Under that, we are developing, EDB is developing a program in the rural sector to assist entrepreneurs that is to make 2000 export a development program and to develop women entrepreneurs into export businesses. And there are several credit schemes we are going to assist, that is startups, Anabuma, and another one is establish an IT initiative. These were, this IT initiative was extracted from the national export strategy. And another main uh, focus is to make local entrepreneurs to global leaders. Under that, we have planned several actions like create markets access globally for Sri Lankan products and services. We have planned several trade fairs, inward missions, outward missions like that. And we have a scheme to assist entrepreneurs under the market development assistance scheme. So uh, selected uh, exporters will be assisted under this scheme. And another scheme to develop the product development, EDB has initiated a scheme to assist entrepreneurs under the product development assistance scheme to facilitate technology upgradation. Tenaline commenced a new twice weekly feeder service connecting Colombo with Tidikorin, the second largest port in Tamil Nadu state, India. The vessel MV Charlie with a capacity of 1,730 20-foot equivalent units will be deployed under RCL Tutikorin Colombo, serviced by the regional container line. The vessel will travel back and forth between Colombo and Tutikorin and will call on the Jaya Container Terminal on Mondays and Fridays at the port of Colombo. Founded in 1979, RCL is a Thai-based container shipping line. Listed on the Thai Stock Exchange since 1988, its core business is in the carriage of shipper-owned containers and its own carrier-owned containers in a service network that is fully Asia-centric. See you after this break. Welcome back. Issuing a statement, the Department of Census and Statistics stated that the index of industrial production has increased by 4.4% in the month of November 2017 compared to the same month in 2016. The IIP reported for the month of November 2017 and 2016 were 108.9 and 104.3 respectively. The manufacturing industries, coke and refined petroleum products, Fabricated metal products and basic pharmaceutical products have shown sharp increases of 26.5%, 23.6% and 17% respectively in their volume of production during the month of November 2017 compared to the same month in 2016. The volume of food products has increased by 3.4%. However, the volume of the manufacturing industries, beverages, wood and product of food and furniture reported decreases in the month of November 2017 by 21.8%, 12.2% and 11.1% respectively during this period. Thank you for watching State of Business. See you tomorrow at the same time. Till then, take care. Good night.